How you doing? How you doing, young man? Watch it. This thing is jerky, so hang on. You can't miss Don Griman on his golf cart. Did you ever almost hit anybody? Oh, yes. <laughs> She's as popular here as his favorite food. I still like a corn dog. Be careful, Thank sir. you very much. I think Don is the happiest person I've ever met. You never see him without a smile. So he drives that cart and smiles through the fair. How old? How old? An ear-to-ear -ear smile since he first came to the fair in 1931 at age five. I'm like a kid yet. This kid will be 90 next month. I took nourishment this morning. I'm not in jail, and I'm here at the Iowa State Fair with all my friends. Life is good. No one loves the fair more, and no one has done more for the fair, serving on the board more than four decades. It was not all smoking cigars and drinking whiskey. Through good times and bad. The farm economy went into the doldrums, and this place was falling apart. We had just absolutely had to save it. So we went over the books. Dedicated to preserving the fair. The Blue Ribbon Foundation was a salvation. See, they've raised $125 million in about 23 years. Griman is credited with saving it. He was a big part of revitalizing it and bringing it back to what it's, it is now. Per capita, we do better than any other state fair in the nation. Now he is tour guide extraordinaire. A fresh, Tenderloin sandwich right here. Knowing every inch of the fair. The swine barn has got six acres of roof. He didn't have to learn the history, he lived it. I love every, every bit of it. It's very simple. It's the people. It's a reunion of I regions. A reunion this octogenarian has enjoyed nearly a century. Nothing compares to the Iowa State Fair.